Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony. I'd like to talk today about how to use the AntConc Concordance Plot Tool. So uh, I'm just going to show you some of the basic features of this tool. Okay, so as in previous tutorials, I'm going to first go to File, Open File, and load in the corpus I've been using, which are 12 texts from a communication textbook. Now, uh, the Concordance Plot Tool is the second tool to, uh, on the top here. And basically, the features, uh, the tool itself is identical to the concordance tool, except that the results are displayed differently. So, as in the previous tutorial, if I typed in work before, uh, we get a set of results as we've seen. Now, if we look at the concordance plot tool, we will see uh, each, res each file here on the left and a, a a bar showing where the hit appears in the in the text. Uh, and now the, the length of the text is normalized, uh, as you can see here, they're all showing the same. Uh, and the bars show where the hits are appearing. So you can see here that, uh, for example, file 12 has the most hits, in fact, six hits here. Uh, file six, has five hits. You can see that here. Uh, let's uh, do the search again and you'll see it generating the results as we go. So if we search for a word like and, then obviously it's going to have a lot of hits and we can see that through the text here. All the searches that I described in the concordance tutorial work here. So I can for example, type work star and find out where those are appearing, or uh, uh, b star ing, for example, and we can see here that there's only three files with that hit, and so on. We can also use the advanced uh, search function, so for example, we can look for work in the context of width, uh, three to the left and three to the right, apply, and we can see that there are only two texts with those conditions. Now if we move over the display and onto one of the bars, we'll see a little finger appears as before, and if we click on this, then we get the uh, we switch to the file view tool and see the entire text and where the hit appeared in that text. Uh, and you can see here work together with, so that shows you that it is near work. And you'll also notice that the um, hit appears near the beginning of the text here, and rightly so, the, the uh, file view shows that is the case. If we go to the other hit, this is supposedly at the end of the text. If we click on here, we can see that indeed it is near the end of the text. The only other function that uh, concordance plot has is to be able to zoom the results uh, by clicking here. And this allows you to see in more detail where the hits are. So for example, if I'm searching for and, uh, uh, let me take off this concordance context window. We can now see a little bit more detail of where those hits are appearing. And we can then move our finger across and find the original hit in the file view tool. Now, many people ask how we can save the results of the concordance plot and unfortunately, at the moment, you cannot save these results. So the only way to do that is by doing a screenshot. Uh, and you would select the screenshot for the results that you want to show, and then save those. Okay, so that's the concordance plot tool. Thank you.